look at this beautiful restaurant. This is night number one here in Antigua, Guatemala. This is an Italian family that settled here. It's just spectacular. Night number one here in Antigua, Guatemala. This is the Italian house. Now this runner is actually made of sawdust. You've got the most beautiful architecture, gorgeous, gorgeous lighting. This courtyard is so romantic with all of just the beautiful candles and the flowers, the woodwork, everything here is just exquisite. And we are gonna go for a little tour before we have dinner. Everybody loves sangria. Oh my gosh, I could literally live here. Look at all of this food. Welcome to Villa Bouquet. What an extraordinary property here in Antigua, Guatemala. This is so stunning. The architecture is incredible. All of the landscaping, that greenhouse in the back, <gasps> and this courtyard is straight out of my dreams come true. And oh my gosh, look, I'm loving the hats. Let's go see what everyone's doing. Bienvenido a Guatemala. Hola. Oh, this is. No. <laughs> this is so lovely. Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> Look at the this view This is here. like this is heaven. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So I am going to take a few minutes by myself and I'm going to walk through Villa Bouquet now. The house is amazing, but these grounds are so exquisite. They're lush, they're green, they're romantic. I mean, you can hear the running water and there were all of these like amazing little moments, places where you can have swings, places where there are glass houses. It's just such a unique but pristinely beautiful location. I'm going to turn this around and show After being on the plane for hours and hours and hours and having all those layovers and taking the time to get here, the opportunity to just walk through the grounds to see the birds, to see the flowers. You've got these great little places to sit and swing. I can absolutely see coming, buying out the villa and having a really gorgeous, intimate wedding here. The glass house, which you'll see again later, is just kind of ideal and quaint for a really intimate ceremony. You have all of these trails that you can walk through I love this. It almost looks like a chapel, but I would use it as a bridal dressing suite, an opportunity to like get the brides and the bridesmaids together. It looks like it's set up for grooms right now, but I think that this would be so much fun to have all the girls or all the guys in here getting together, getting dressed. It's just truly magnificent. Guatemala, this space is absolutely beautiful. Off to the side, you have this magnificent kind of open air glass house. It looks and feels like an atrium. A thousand percent, I would want to do a ceremony there. You've got the beautiful pond, you've got this bridge, and you have water, thick, full, lush greenery. And in the distance, another house. Now that to me looks like a chapel, but I think it would be a great bridal suite, dressing room, groom suite, someplace where people can relax and enjoy. You have the running water. 
and then you have all of these grounds. So a lot of people have asked what exactly I am doing in Guatemala. So I am here as an educator for Wedding Pro, which is part of the Knot Worldwide. It is the interior educational platform. And we are here hosting a team and a group of influencers that are currently engaged, that are in the midst of planning their wedding. And we just wanna be a resource for them. We want them to understand a lot more about not just the platform in terms of the Knot and Wedding Wire, but also what they can expect from the industry, what they can expect from planners, what they can expect from designers, and how to go about planning and executing that they are going to love. Education is the great equalizer. I say it all the time. It's so important for pros to educate themselves, but it's also important for couples to educate themselves. And I am completely honored to be able to give back to the community that has given so much to me. So this is my week in Antigua, Guatemala.